Hey, and welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to model that ball from the intro. So to get started, the first thing we're going to want to do is to create a soccer ball. To do this, go to create polygon primitives soccer ball. Just make sure interactive creation is turned on. Just quickly go into face mode. If I double click on the object, all the faces get selected. What this means is that all the faces are connected, which is usually what we want. However, in this case, it's not. Go in into vertex mode, select all of them and go to edit mesh, detach components, or just use shift right mouse button, detach components. Okay, going back into face mode, if I double click on it, you can see that I now can't select the whole ball, which is exactly what we want. Obviously, this isn't looking very round at the moment. So what we're gonna to want to do is add a few more divisions. You can do so by holding shift and then the right mouse button and going to smooth and then just set the divisions to two. Right, to make this now round, go to deform and then sculpt. Press four on the keyboard to go into wireframe mode and you can see this little ball gimbal inside. With it selected, scale it up until the soccer ball is completely smooth. The next step we're gonna to want to do is to set the sculpt deformer in stone, which you can see at the moment it isn't. Select the mesh and we need to delete the history I have it up here on my shelf, but you can just go to edit, delete by type, history. Now you can see the shape is permanent, which is exactly what we want. Right, so the next step we're going to want to do is extrude inwards. You can do this a couple of ways, but I'm just going to use Control E on the keyboard. And just extrude inwards around this much. And then what we can actually do is use a negative offset to clip the inside faces and remove any potential holes we might have had. And we also don't need the faces on the inside, so we can just hit delete on the keyboard. Back in shaded mode, you can see the ball is black. This is a normal problem, so what we want to do is select all the faces and hold shift and then the right mouse button and go to face normals, reverse normals. Press free for smooth preview and you can see the end result. You can see how the negative offset on the extrusion helped and we have a nice enclosed appearance to the mesh. In face mode, you can assign materials to the individual faces to get the football looking design. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.